Hello and welcome to the PS5 multi-sensory unboxing with myself, Lady Julia of Hardy. This time round, um, we are not going to have a live broadcast, but rather a pre-recorded one, as I am currently wintering in my Chamonix estate, as you can see behind me. Um, the reason why there's only a very small stool, stool, there, uh, is because all of my furniture has been taken away to be upgraded to better furniture. It's nothing to do with tax evasion. My furniture will come back uh, better because I'm rich and that's what we do. We upgrade our furniture. Anyway, today I am going to be unboxing this brand new piece of technology. <laughs> live? Well, actually not live, no. I am the foremost nose and palate of Christendom. I am often hired to smell or taste incredibly expensive perfumes, or parfum as they are known. More expensive than perhaps even your life, viewer. Or very small, illustrious children. But I... I can't really go into why I was smelling them. It's a, something wealthy people do. If you don't know about it, you're not wealthy. I shall be unboxing this using only the senses that God himself has given me, which is touch, taste, smell, hear, and the other one that I can't think of. Because it's a very, uh, you know, it's a, a purchase that people have to consider. Uh, I mean, other people consider. Myself, I could buy 4,000 of them because I'm very rich, in case I didn't mention. But for other people, or paupers, as they're known, they sometimes have to think about how they spend their money. <laughs> Sounds rather jovial. I go to, should I buy this? <laughs> should I? <laughs> Why would you even ask? Sometimes at Christmas we play that game and we just, we laugh and laugh. <gasps> Poor people have told me that sometimes they have to think about things before they buy them. So it's important to have all the facts. You must have all of the facts before making a purchase. This is what I read on Wikipedia about being poor. I've seen many an unboxing, very in-depth, very good technical breakdowns of what this is in the GAMS. I believe that's how it's pronounced. That's our played on them. I'm not really sure how it works, but most technology is magic to me. I mean, most things are. If there isn't technology for it, you just have a butler and he does it. It is important to have all the facts. So we are going to use the senses that God himself gave us to review this piece of technology. Now, this is completely unbroken. This seal is sealed. As you can see, I have not even had a through the main box whiff of what is inside. So this is fresh, box fresh. Again, Wikipedia, Urban Dictionary. Very useful for talking to the hoi polloi. Um, we shall begin, shall we? Wait, palate cleanse. It's important to drink wine when you do anything. A lot of people say it's to cleanse the palate, but I just prefer to be drunk. Are we ready? I feel like there should be some kind of <coughs> ceremony to this. Breaking your way through seals is something rich people like to do quite a lot. We don't do secondhand shit. Would you care for me to pre-whiff just the general smell of the box itself? I mean, while we're here, we could... We couldn't do this. It's rather heavy. This one doesn't have a fireplace in it. I mean, it's actually quite fragrance-free, which is unusual. Which is unusual for cardboard, as I'm told this is what it's made of. It's not really a, a fabric that one uses when you're wealthy. It's wood upwards, minimum wood for most things. It's rather like a sort of child's puzzle box. Flaps. Children like flaps. As we move into it, oh yes, there's a slight more aroma here. But it's quite plain. Perhaps the odours will increase as we... I thought that Pilates would help me for such things, but apparently not. I mean, once we move the box 
box away. Oh. It is rather large. If we're talking about sizing, it's, it's quite large. Now, the best way to work out the size of anything is to work out what it would look like if it was a handbag. This is what my mother taught me as a young woman. Now, if I was to stand up and use this as a handbag, it's quite... It does block the torso, and if you were to carry it out, not many people could see your attire. It does have a rather nice logo here. Um, it's probably big enough to fit several typewriters, should you need to write a memo at any point. And, and the handle is strong enough to... Uh, at least three underwoods could fit within there. Yes. I mean, I tend to work out the weight of most things by typewriter. It's a very particular weight. Now we are in the main encasing. I shall remove my glove. This cardboard, of which we speak, it isn't smooth. There is a ribbing, a gentle ribbing, across the top. Once again, the fragrance is very slight. Moving into the box, Again, flaps. It reminds me of puzzle boxes. I mean, you must remember, of course, every Christmas when your father would give you a puzzle box that would turn into a key and you'd unlock a door that was hidden within your room and find out what happened to all your pets. It was a fun Christmas game. As I'm removing the items, I feel like I should be at least kind of giving a snifter as we go along, like a, a, a perpetual Shazam of smelling. Ooh. Yes, we're getting into the smells now. Oh. There's a very strong aroma here. It's, it's like a fetid punch of a small yet rich child's toy. The essence of a crisp morning with a slight touch of Hamleys. Within this box is all of the necessary pieces of equipment you will need to make this technology work. For example, some kind of electrical facilitator. It's quite light. It's like a, a mildewed perfume of a masculine variety. I mean, I don't particularly agree with gendered parfums per se or even gendered terminology basically when you're rich everyone just bows i think i've used up the smell on that now and within here is some kind of contractual agreement that no one actually agreed to but has now agreed to what is this in here ah so there seems to be some sort of plasticky fabric i mean anything less than cotton i don't really understand its feel or its purpose, even. It's a little bit like the sweet bags when your father would take you to the local town and they'd have, they'd call it a sweet shop, uh, and there'd be a, a crusty old man with terrible skin who would then help facilitate as you picked one by one a sweet of your choice. It was quite delightful. We used to laugh and laugh and laugh when we came outside at these boring people's lives. Yes, yeah, sad countryside sweet shop. Hmm. It reminds one of their youth. Oh, kind of biting sniff of perhaps your favourite pet's mouth burp. I'm not quite sure what it's for, though. Maybe some sort of medal. Could be a medal. Father always said it was terribly easy to get medals. You just sort of are rich and turn up. Now... This is another sort of electrical cable that I believe transfers the information, if it can be called that. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. Intoxicating and tangy feel of a malodorous printer. I mean, we never really use printers. If we ever needed to send each other messages or have things down so that we could read from them, we used a loom. It did make passing notes in glass. Rather obvious, though. Yes, this is rather pungent. There seems to be a current trend to have pungently aromaed cables. I don't know what to read into that, or whether it means anything at all, but it does make me want to sniff it more. What's next in the box? 
Let's find out. Oh, there is some more. An additional cable. This time with one with different ends. Oh, but unusually, this cable does not have the same fragrance to other. This one is actually... Oh, it's a trace of Luxembourg. Not really sure why. Moving on to what has been known as the controller, I'm told. Oh, we get the sweet shop bag out of the way. For this, I shall take off the secondary glove. The controller, I'm told, is a very important piece of the puzzle of this console. So, my first impression is, the weight is of a heavier variety to previous controllers I have laid my hands upon. Not violently, just I, sometimes I like to stroke them. So, the weight is heavier. Feels, the feel is very different. I'm surprised by its weight. In terms of the grips, it, it's much smoother than its predecessors. The top here, if you can feel, is incredibly soft. Like a very expensive Persian cat fur. You know, the sort of pet that you shouldn't lose because actually your mother will get rather cross with you. It's not really about the money, it's just... She didn't want poor people having such a fancy cat. So, upon the top, very smooth. Also here on this little bit, whatever that's for, this is also very smooth as well and it clicks. It's quite a nice click. Satisfying agreement. Yes. Yes. Do you hear it? The satisfied agreement. I agree. I agree. Yes. Very cool. Lovely. That's a delightful click. And you can't always say that about technology. There isn't always a delightful click. This has one. As it is smooth upon the top, the buttons themselves are devoid of colour. Perhaps because the machine itself produces such colour, it doesn't want to detract. So, in terms of the buttonage, there are some sort of hieroglyphs here. They are clear of plastic colour. And in terms of touch, I would say they are comparable to controllers of previous yesteryear. Controllers of yore, as they are known. A satisfying click, perhaps slightly more satisfying. In terms of these top buttons here, yes, the lower ones have a nice slow pace to them, as you would expect, so that you can gently touch, gently touch, yes, and the spring back is quite, oh, it's quite peppy, listen. But you sort of want that, don't you? I finished. I finished. I finished. Whereas the top ones here are just more of the click variety. Quick tap, quick tap. Like, You could work a good tango on these, or a good drum rhythm. You know, should your drummer man not be around, I mean, I presume you will have one in case you need to make a joke or just annoy your brother while he's trying to study. In terms of the squiggly wiggly ones here, the roly nips, the squiggly wiggly ones here. I've been told that it is important for, to have grip. So around the edge, it's almost like an expensive brooch. Yes, if you look around the outside, there's a very, it's, it's almost impossible to drag my finger around it. That's the amount of grip there. Ugh, I'm really trying. Ugh. Really difficult to roll one's finger around the outside. You can catch that nice tension, slow movement. Your thumbs aren't going to wander off. Uh, you can keep them nice and tight. I think we can all agree, whether you are rich or poor, we all like to keep it nice and tight. You almost feel the sort of slight chafe if you push too hard. Oh, it's very satisfying. The spring back again. 
I'll give you a bit of audio here. It's important to hear. Less clicky than the other one. But good spring back. It's quick, fast, reactive. The main central button is they have this sort of logo in the middle. So you can see, probably, maybe. Yes, here we are. And that is also, cunningly, a button. I do like that. Oh, I've turned it on. Whoops. To the back of the controller. The back here, whilst it does look all the same, it is not. I must state this very clearly. It is not all the same. The front is very smooth. The back has got a bit of chafy grippage here. Yes, which is what you need. In case your hands get sweaty, uh, should you be in a particularly difficult situation post fencing match with once brother and you did knock over a vase that was rather important to mother um but also what's quite nice is 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 the texture comes from here and then disappears in the middle like it vanishes like magic it's very pleasant to one want run one's fingers over almost feel as though you're buffing your skin Delightful. I usually have a woman for that. We haven't done the taste test yet, but I do need to clean factory things off of it. So I shall just take the small corner here. Mm, here we are. Delightfully clean. Give it a buff off. Here we are. These are all the tricks of the trade. Now, taste of fresh linen but from the room of a teenage boy a woodsy inky taste of a redolent youth right to the main event this is the point where I desperately try not to break the thing okay so oh it's almost an eggy glue like the smell of what happens to all my horses. Well, here we have the main event. There was a period in my life where my father had something known as a Fiat chess player. And it, it had this ability to take the pictures from the television that were playing out and save them. This has quite the width of one of those players delightful as they were it does look like I'm carrying a very large sandwich and large isn't necessarily bad large often means expensive if I was to hold it up like this it would look like I'm reading a comedically large book or some sort of prayer tablet the weight is The weight is at least the same as my designer carry-on bag on an aeroplane for long haul. Now, again, we are blazing with this logo here, but it is not on there. It is actually not there. They've actually cut a hole in this to make that logo, which is quite, quite, a, quite a thing. How do they do that? Do they have a man with a stencil? Weaving away, just etching it out, I can imagine, like a sort of modern-day calligrapher. If I feel the outside, it has a rough, a slight rough texture to it. It's not smooth, which is probably good so that you don't drop it on the floor, should you be pretending it's a prayer tablet. A bit of drag there. The smoothness, though, I don't think you can really get across. It's quite, it's almost sexual. If you, if you run your hand across... There's a distinct curvature, which you would think is unnecessary, but they've put it there anyway, and I quite like it. So you can see it from the side here. Do you see that? Distinct curvature. I tell you what it does look like. It actually looks like um, my father's friend, Elon Musk's uh, sort of palatial uh, Los Angeles uh, crib, as they call them. Uh, you just think a couple of stilts on here, and it's almost uh, exactly the same. That or maybe somewhere the Thunderbirds would live. Or Geordie LaForge. It's very got a Geordie LaForge vibe to it. Here's the garage where you put your cars down here. 
there. In terms of ergonomics, it's very interesting. The shape is very interesting. It's distinctly sci-fi, I'm told. I mean, even to the back here, it does look like something from the video game Mass Effect, like a uh, sort of Ilium Tower. No? No spa? Don't you think? I could definitely see Commander Shepard going up in a lift and trying to blag some stuff from someone on one of the upper floors. It's been very carefully designed for uh, air circulation. So even on the sides here, there is vents all the way down because everybody loves air conditioning. And certainly in Los Angeles, you can't have a place without air conditioning. So it makes me think that this is going to run oof, rather well. To keep it cool means that it's running hot. And if it's running hot, it means it's working hard. And working hard uh, in technology terms means expensive. They're catering for the warmth of the power that it's going to admit. Uh, and they have factored that in with the air conditioning unit that they've put around the side, which is good. That's a good sign. It's very smooth. This, the central part, whilst the outside has that grip, the central part is very smooth. I mean, very smooth. Yeah, you can hear here. Listen, this is how smooth it is. It's exactly this smooth. It's got a little bit of, little bit of a grip on there. You know what I mean. That kind of plastic grip. Delicious. Listen to this. It's making some beautiful music. Like a Stradivarius cello. They have them, right? Like a Stradivarius. A console Stradivarius makes all its own songs. I studied at Juilliard. Whereas this... I can still squeak, but I have to put, apply much more pressure. Yeah, it's less keen to make an audible sound there. We have the entire unit here. There are a few buttons and whatnot and holes on the side that I'm sure are terribly important for technological things. But I suppose the most important thing to know is what does it smell like? So let's, <clears throat> let's just give it a small whiff, shall we? It's a sort of whiff of a... The shattered musk of a, the shattered musk of loamy circuitry with a sort of sprinkling, a whiff and a touch of a jovial cartwheel. Ooh, actually if you, if you come into the air vents a little bit more, if you move your nose closer to there, it, it definitely has a much more woodsy aroma. Oh yes, it's, yes, woodsy, it's inky, it's sort of pungent and dirty with a spicy pheromone overture. And when I say pheromone, I mean it is a sort of smell that once you smell it, you want to go back again and again and again. And in fact, two hours later, someone will probably come into your room thinking you've gone quite mad. It's intoxicating. It's the realm of possibility of what smells can suggest to the human mind distinctly funky and not in a negative way but in a deep heart and soul rhythm and bass way oh yes like it's like the storeroom of a very expensive designer shop delicious the final test what does it taste like I'm going to taste the two different areas the main area and the central centrifuge cleaning it off of all the grubby paw prints yes here we are the outer rim definitely stationary shop with a zingy twang of a bookmaker's definitely sort of a, a musky acidic twang now for the central part Oh, it is very smooth to the tongue. It's more of the taste of what you imagine accessorize would taste like, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've got many a delightful bangle from accessorize. Well, yes. 
Ah, oh, one for the road. Thank you terribly much for joining me for this PS5 multi-sensory unboxing. Uh, do please hit like and subscribe. And uh, if there's anything else you'd I was about to see if there's anything else you'd like me to smell. <laughs> Don't answer that. Please hit like and subscribe. And um, you'll never miss out on another video. Although it's hard to imagine how I can top this nonsense. Thank you ever so much. I will see you next time. Goodbye. One for the road.